I want to invite you into the spiritual exercise of life journaling. And, uh, and I am excited for the opportunity um, of really all of us in the entire congregation uh, being able to uh, try this spiritual exercise. Even if you've never been a journaler before, I want to introduce you to something that I think can have a tremendous impact of deepening your relationship with Jesus. But to kind of really have you feel the, what I mean when I talk about the opportunity of life journaling, I want you to imagine for a moment that you're a golfer. You're, you're a decent golfer, you like golfing, you, you won't embarrass yourself when you go out on um, the links, but, but you're finally at that place in life where you've decided you want to take your game to the next level. And you're talking with a friend, and your friend has a friend, and, and they know something about golf, and so they say, you know, let me talk to my friend. And the friend comes to you and says, my, my friend wants to give you a call, and uh, he has an offer to make you. And your friend's friend happens to be Tiger Woods. And Tiger Woods calls you up and says, you know, I've heard that you want to take your game to the next level. And, and I want to help. I want to be part of this journey with you. And so uh, what I'm committed to is, is that every day for about 30 minutes, we will get together and we're going to go over your game, how you swing, how you think, the, your understanding of how the game works. And, and we're going to do this so that you can become an excellent golfer. And I want you to think about just how you would feel at that moment where you're talking on the phone with Tiger Woods. Uh, probably a little bit of just incredulity, you, disbelief. You can't believe that this is happening to you. But there's probably other feelings too. Excitement, hope. Uh, you may never be Tiger Woods, but, but you know that this, this is going to help you. This is going to change the way that you play the game. Well, the invitation into life journaling is, is like this, except the one who's inviting us to spend time with him every day is Jesus himself, the master of living. This is what the Christian life is about, about following Jesus, being in relationship with him, and really sitting at the feet of the master day in and day out so that it's not just that we play a game, but that we learn how to live life because Jesus is the master of living because he knows what it means to be human and he wants each of us to reach our full potential. That is what the invitation to life journaling is about. Building in this relationship, this time where we spend with Jesus. And life journaling is simple as this. It is simple as being able to remember soap. There are four parts of life journaling. You'll, you'll need a Bible. You can either have a, an actual written journal that you write in or you can use uh, your computer. And then what you're going to do, and, and my suggestion to you is, is that soap, the S for soap, stands for scripture. And basically, every day you're building the expectation, I'm going to read a chapter of the Bible. And, and I'm going to read that chapter, and I'm, going to, and I'm going to listen to it. And what I'm listening for is, is a verse or two where I feel like this is what's popping out to me today. That these words, these thoughts, this idea, this has, this has an impact on me. And then in your life journal, you, you write that verse or two. You've read the chapter, and, and then there's a verse or two, and it speaks into your life. It speaks to you. You feel like this is something that God has for you today. And then you actually write that down in your journal, that, that whole verse. That's the S. And then the O stands for observation. And... And the observation is, is that you just, in your own words, 
you write down what this verse, what this idea, wh- how it fits in that chapter of Scripture. Why was Jesus saying this to the disciples? What's going on that this is the big idea? Uh, what is the background so that you just make an observation so that you understand, first of all, what God's word said to those people back then? And then, having listened to the scripture, having observed how it fit as far as, as how it was originally meant for its audience, you then move to A, which is application. You've written down your observation. Now you have application. And then this is the part about really thinking through, what is this saying to me? I I have an idea of what it meant to them. Here's this word and it's jumping out to me. How is Jesus speaking to me today through this of how to live today in response to this? So let's say you come across something and and the basic idea is uh, to forgive others. Well, you could write the application down. Well, today I'm, I'm going to try to be forgiving towards people. But the secret of the application is really specifically applying it into your life. What relationships am I struggling with? Why, why is this call of forgiveness? Is Who do I need to forgive right now? I'm assuming that because it hit me in this way and, and this, this verse or two is what popped out of the page, this is the part where it's like, oh, I need to forgive this person. And, and you write down, and, and you may have more than one application point, but, but that's the part where then you've, you've moved to application, and then the P stands for prayer. And you write a short little prayer where you tell Jesus the power that you need, the hope that you have, what you're hearing him say and what you want to do, and you express your heart. And, and in all of this, between reading the chapter and then working through your life journal, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, once in a while you may miss a day, but if you grow into the habit day in, day out, setting aside some time where you come and your focus is really on listening and being with Jesus, responding to him, opening up your life, and allowing him to speak into your life. It's not going to be people on the golf course who say, wow, your swing really looks good. But what we can expect is is that slowly over time, People are going to sit there, instead of just experiencing me, they're going to sit there and go, huh, you know, this might be a little bit what it's like to be with Jesus. And that is the goal that he has for every one of us. And so I'm very excited that one of the things that we're going to do as a church family is we're going to be encouraging one another into this daily time where we seek out Jesus. And life journaling is a great opportunity for all of us. May the Lord bless you in this. Thank you.